Hello, my name is Eric Bach, and welcome to another session of Techniques brought to you by NEI. In today's session, we'll cover how to install Trimble GPS Pathfinder Office software. Our first step is to go out to the internet and download the software. So we're going to go to neigps.com. When the web page opens up, under our Solutions tab, we're going to go down to Support, over to Support Documentation, and choose Mapping and GIS. In the next page, we're going to click under Downloads and choose Software Downloads, and then we're going to choose the GPS Pathfinder Office version 5.60. We will have the most current version with the word current in parentheses next to it, so you know which one to download. Once we've downloaded the software, we're going to browse the file. I stored mine under downloads. It comes in a zip file. I've already unzipped this, and it's going to be in the Trimble GPS Pathfinder Office version 5.6.0 folder. I'm going to open that up, and we're going to go to autorun.exe, and we'll select Run. This screen will open up under the main menu. We're going to click on the word Install, and you have two options here. You have Pathfinder Office or the Mapping and GIS License Manager. If you were to install a floating license, I recommend you install the License Manager first. In this case, we're just going to go with GPS Pathfinder Office, and we're going to select Run going to ask us to choose a language. We're going to choose English and hit OK. And it's going to prepare to install. Our next screen, we're just going to click on Next. It's going to ask about the license agreement. You can read through it. Click on Yes. It's going to ask for a username. I'm just going to put in my Eric PC, company name, NEI. I'm going to hit Next. And here we have a few choices of how we want to install Pathfinder Office. If you just wanted to install and activate the license on one computer, you would choose this option, Install Pathfinder Office with a single-use license. If you wanted to have a floating license to where multiple people could access the license, then you would choose the License Manager option, which is called Install GPS Pathfinder Office using a floating license obtained from a manager on the network. The reason you would do this is, let's say we have one copy of Pathfinder Office, but we have three users. We can install the License Manager, activate the code on the License Manager, and install Pathfinder Office on as many machines as we want. The only drawback is whenever someone uses that license up, it locks it out to where no one else can use it, and they have to return the license in order for other people to use it. The third option is called Install Pathfinder Office in Viewer Mode. I call this the Free Mode. An example of using this license level would be I have a field crew. They don't come back to the office much, but they want to transfer the data, view the data, and then email it back to the main office. In that instance, you would use the viewer mode. For today's session, we're going to install this directly to my laptop and activate it on my laptop. So we're going to choose Install GPS Pathfinder Office with a single-use license. We're going to click on Next. This screen is asking us about using an install code, or if you didn't have an install code, to register a proof of purchase number or a POPN number and then get the install code. For new software purchases, NEI supplies our customers with a sheet similar to this. It'll tell you your software seal number and that we've registered your POPN number, and it'll give you an email. It'll then tell you to go out to the Trimble.com backslash register page. I will log into my account. That's where the code is registered. We'll log in. If you're an existing user and you're just upgrading Pathfinder Office, you already have an account, and you can come in here and get your updated installation code. So we're going to browse down my products. So here we have our software installation code. So you'll find your serial number in your list. You'll click the plus sign, and you'll be able to grab your installation code. It'll give you an expiration date as well. I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to come back to my software installation. I'm going to say I already have registered and have a valid installation code. I'm going to click on Next. I'm going to copy and paste that code in here. If you were to manually input this code, you have to put the dashes. We're going to click on Next. 
we're going to go with the complete install. I'm going to click on Next. I'm going to leave these fields blank for now. Next. It's going to ask where we want to start copying these files to. Again, I'm going to accept the default. I'm going to click on Next. And it's going to begin the installation process. This will take about five minutes. When the software is done installing, it'll give you this important note about changes in the GUID model interpolation. These changes will result in elevations that may be affected in your projects, so I recommend you check out the release notes described in this note. We're going to click OK. This screen asks about checking for program updates. We recommend that you do this by clicking on Next. We'll choose Next again. It'll ask the Trimble website. We're going to choose Next. And currently, there are no updates for this software. So we'll just hit Next again, Next again. To complete the installation process, we need to activate the software. So in this section, it's asking us to choose a language. We'll click on English and select OK. We'll enter our installation code, click on Next. We have a few options to activate the software. In this case, we're going to try it over the internet. So we're going to select that and click on Next. And it's going to go out to the Trimble activation server and activate our software. Once completed, it'll tell you if it's been successful or not. We're going to click on Finish. This concludes today's technique session. Please visit neigps.com for more videos, FAQs, and information on upcoming trainings. Thank you and have a great day.